Hello and welcome to the short video about servicing um, laser mechanisms in CD players. What we have here is a uh, CDM1 Mark II, which is in fact a CDM4, um, but it's named CDM1 Mark II by the Japanese and differs from a standard version by having a metal chassis. First thing, it's always uh, micro switches. Um, you just spray the insides of them with electronic cleaning solvent available from an electronic store. This one is sort of half open and um, and you just flood them and then work the lever as you do that. This one is clean so you see 0.2 of an ohm there and you know that it's clean because there's very little resistance. Uh, they will work to about 5 to even 10 ohms but more than that and the tray then just uh, either goes in or, or comes out uh, in unexpected moments. As you see I've removed those uh, micro switches, both of them, uh, from their respective positions. Uh, the normal sitting there and they're engaged by uh, that bar which tells the servo whether the tray is in or out. That's because um, when working on a tray you can easily break that lever and then it's a lot of pain to, you know, to find a uh, a switch exactly like that. So once the micro switches are done, sometimes on the mechanisms up to five or six or even sometimes more, I've seen on some cases 190s, uh, more than that, then it's lubrication. Um, lubrication started with removing the old grease and here it is some old grease I left to, to, to shop. It's just yellow and, and uh, dried up. So I put the new grease uh, in all the places that the grease used to be before. These are the uh, meeting guides for the tray. The tray comes in and on those guides it then goes down so that the CD is elevated and can be clamped. Um, I don't grease things that haven't been greased before. So like those um, running wheels, as you see, they're a bit noisy. And that's why this mechanism is not the most silent. But, you know, since it hasn't been done, who am I to... Um, improve on, on Moran's. This is from Moran's CD80. Um, uh, the next thing is uh, after having done lubrication and uh, micro switches is a belt replacement. In this particular player you just remove the clip that frees the motor and you can get access then to the belt. The two belts, th this one has been replaced, it's a standard square 1.5 millimeter belt. The other one is ribbed one, the ribbed one never go faulty, so I, I leave that alone. Finally, a lens has to be cleaned, so you grab a, um, a clean um, cotton bud, the Q-tip, dab it in uh, isopropyl alcohol, let it soak a bit. I'm not going to clean that one because that's already been done. I have a uh, Savio SF HD60 from a Musical Fidelity that I'm going to work on. This is an old head that somebody has removed and you just a um, few circular motions and then you switch the spot. It's basically to remove the old um, cigarette smoke, a bit of dust, maybe some vapors from cooking. Um, there was a guy on Stereonet that reckons that you should flood it and replace several Q-tips and then look inside for the I don't know, prism or, or what not, I don't know why, I've never done that and what would I do with such knowledge? Uh, what's interesting is that uh, some of the replaced it, you see they've been working heavily on the trimmers adjusting power for CD and CD, they're totally damaged, they, they lifted them. Uh, but anyway, what they fitted was probably the cheapest replacement, although it says made in Japan. But it was packed in bubble wrap. I mean, surely any laser head should travel in um, in anti-static bags. So maybe that's why uh, it still doesn't work. Uh, I'll, there'll be a, a musical fidelity video coming up soon. Musical fidelity KW, I think it's a, it's a tube player. So that's about all folks, uh, and now then you just have to put it together. The grease for that is a special grease uh, that does plastic to plastic or plastic to metal. 
uh, mine is called SW92SI. Uh, it's very expensive, $17 for a little tube like that uh, on eBay. Um, well, that's it. Thank you very much for your attention and until the next one. Bye bye.